Uh, yeah, Paul, a disappointing evening. Was it defined by two bad goals at the start of both halves? Yeah, ultimately, yeah. You make mistakes and you get punished like that, and it's unchar uncharacteristic of Scott. Um, he misjudges a header in the middle, ends up trying to recover, goes to ground in the box. Penalty, six minutes, was it? Yeah, seven. And then just at the start of the second half, when you when you want to to get a you know a start in the in the half and start positively, you're right on the back foot again. Um, you know, with mistakes and you know you get punished. And to be honest, I don't think we've done enough to to get anything out the game. We made a few changes before the game tonight because of obviously players missing. Um, we changed the system. Young Amir was starting just to give him a little bit more cover behind him, but I, I don't think we helped him. Um, I'm saying the same things to the same people. Um, and it just seems that it goes in one ear and out the other. And so, you know, if I keep saying that, then it's, it's my fault. So I'm going to have to address it because league form hasn't been good enough. You know, we can be as good as we were. I said on Saturday we didn't have a bad player tonight, apart from Young Amir. I don't think we had a good player. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to mention that, because, you know, to come straight in, he was on the bench Saturday, but to make his first start, everyone where we were saying was how, how impressed we were by him. Yeah, he's, a, he's an honest young kid who, who had a go, who put everything into it. He ran hard, um, but I just thought we were so flat. Um, you know, and I said, you know, Saturday is a big occasion where everyone turns up. Tonight you've got, I don't know, 150 people here. You have to create your own atmosphere. You have to create your own tempo. You can't rely on, you know, an external influence to do that. And and I thought we were so flat. Um, decision making, just everything about a poor performance as, as, as much as you can get. Having said that, we got a score from one of the set pieces in the yeah. first half. We could have actually been 3 1 up um, at half time for three set pieces. And you, you've got to take them chances. You know, we get punished. We get punished for the mistake, um, mistakes we've made, but we, we didn't punish. And, and because of the defeat, it, it, it's always worse. But uh, there wasn't much good. But I like I said, you got to take them chances when they're, when they're put to you. There's nobody yards out on two of them. Um, you know, and even one in the second half at the near post where it comes off the, the defender. And it's just, but you know, we we need to we need to look at things with with uh, with what what we're doing in the league. We need to we need to look at things because it's just not being good enough. And is there any mitigation? We've had Troy and Steve missing suspended today, and Kai still like injured. Is there any mitigation in that? On the, on the performance? Oh yeah, because the, the, you know, three of your best players, um, you know, certainly Troy and Steve, you, you know, you'd argue are you two, two of your best players, but um, but that's where others need to step up and I didn't feel we, we had enough leadership from the experienced players we had in the team to to sort of drive the team on the way that the way that them two can. Um, so, you know, it's players of, you know, I, I say it all the time, you know, players pick the team, you know, with performances. And if players are performing, then it's, it's an easy job for a manager. It's when they're not performing. And, and too often, too many of, uh, well, not too many, I shouldn't say that, but too often there's the same few who were, uh, Producing the same performances, and that's that's hurting us. And you know, it needs it needs addressing, it needs changing.